Hey there ladies and gentlemen, today I bring you a Smogon OU battle versus someone I met on Pokemon Showdown in the Wi-Fi room. I just went on and said, who wants to battle? Actually, I think I, I did go who wants to battle and didn't really get too many tickets, but I did see other people being like, I want to battle, someone challenge me, and so I did. You know, it goes both ways, it works out nicely. Um, so, looking at his team. Um, the number one concern I have is probably that Venusaur, because really, I, my team does not do too well against Mega Venusaur. Um, I, I should do something about that, I just haven't figured out what yet. Um, I also see that Mandibuzz, and immediately I'm thinking, oh god, I hate Mandibuzz. I mean, I've got like three Pokemon that can deal with it, four. I've got plenty of Pokemon that can deal with it, just, I really don't like Mandibuzz, and I've had issues with it in the past. Anyway, he leads off with his Magnezone. I go for a will o -Wisp, it misses and that sucks, and he just goes ahead and Volt Switches out. It would have been nice to get some damage off on it. Based on that damage, I'm thinking it's either Analytic or Specs, possibly both. Um, you don't actually see too many Analytic Magnezones um, in general. But anyway, so, uh, now he's out into Venusaur as I, you know, and so I'm going to go ahead and Volt Switch out as he Mega Evolves. Uh, uh, now it's possible that had he run speed investment, he could have Giga Drained me um, before I switched out. But uh, I, I'm just recycling commentary from an old match. That would have been good information to have. Plus, I think Rotom could have probably taken it because it is specially defensive. I don't know. I guess it depends on the set. I'll put up some uh, calcs in the annotation. So I go ahead and switch out, and I go out and do Fluffy, my Heatran, uh, and because I don't, I just. It's hard to switch something into this guy. That's the bottom line. It's hard to switch something into this guy. I believe a Brave Bird one-shots even 252, 252 plus um, Venusaur. I'll put that calc up in the annotation as well, but um, doesn't want to come in on a Sludge Bomb. So Anyway, uh, Azumarill is out. I'm going to want to switch out here. Uh, my safest switch is Titan Arum, my own, my own Venusaur. I haven't yet gone Mega, so if he goes for an Ice Punch on the printed switch, uh, not a good situation. He d did, I guess, predict the switch, maybe not into this, so he pulled off the double switch into his own Mega Venusaur. Uh, and then he decides to pull off the triple switch. Um, I'm not exactly sure what he was expecting me to do. Hidden Power Psychic would be an interesting move, but I don't think it would... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, this was... Yeah, I guess Hidden Power Psychic was he expecting? That's a really weird move out into, um, uh, out into this guy. But... This guy does wall me, um, Mandibuzz does wall me in the sense that I can't spore it. Um, so I go for the Sludge Bomb, does a decent chunk of damage, and he actually switches out here as well. Goes out into his Mega Venusaur yet again, um, as I went for the Sleep I don't know why I went for the Sleep Powder. Um, overcoat blocks sleep. Ah, oh, that was stupid of me. But it didn't matter anyway, so um, we're now swapping Sludge Bombs. I'm just trying to see, trying to gauge what build he is. Um, so I just, I'm, we're just gonna swap Sludge Bombs for a while, and I'm gonna hope that I can take him out. He goes to the Synthesis, it's fine, I don't care. Uh, so now I've scouted out quite a bit of his moveset. I mean, everyone run, runs Giga Drain. I've never seen a Venusaur that doesn't run, a Mega Venusaur that doesn't run Giga Drain. Uh, Sludge Bomb is also pretty darn common, but I saw that he has a Synthesis, so that means probably no Leech Seed. He gets a critical hit here, which was incredibly lame, because I could have, I was going to just go for the Synthesis that turn. But it's fine, I get the free switch out of Stravinsky. Now, I was expecting him to switch out here, but, um, yeah, and he's got, I mean, he should have, he really should have switched out into Tyranitar, who could have take, took in, take, taken any hit, blah. But I do take out Venusaur, so uh, we've both lost our Venusaurs. I wish I had mine around because my Mega Venusaur walls like half his team. Um, so that's, that sucks. It kind of really sucks. So now, out is going to be Tyranitar, and I don't want to stay in. He's probably just going to set up the rocks, but if he goes for the Stone Edge, I'm dead. Um, and uh, as I've said in previous matches, uh, Stravinsky doesn't really mind the rocks in the sense that it's used to being at 50% health pretty much all the time. So um, Tyranitar goes ahead and sets up rocks, and I'm thinking he's probably going to switch out rather than take a close combat. Um, and so he does indeed switch out. So uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and set up my own Stealth Rocks here. And so we were going to both have rocks on the field, and that should hopefully speed things up a little bit. Mandibuzz usually... Mandibuzz can run Defog, it often runs Defog. I'm not sure whether his runs Defog, but honestly, 
he's probably not going to defog away. So here, why did I just go for the stone edge? Why didn't I switch out? I knew that I couldn't take him out. This wasn't like min damage or anything. The answer was that I was thinking I, I didn't really need my track on. It got the rocks up. That was the important thing. Uh, in retrospect, I really wish I'd kept it around because it actually was good against a solid portion of his team. Uh, Azumarill survived on just a sliver of HP. I was really hoping Sand would take it out. It did not. Uh, but now I go on to Bo. Bo can take any hit from this Azumarill. Okay, so, um, I know, so here's why I didn't switch out. I was really fearing that he'd go for Belly Drum, uh, on the Switch, but that would have been fine because I could have just gone out into Stravinsky and Brave Birded it and it would have been dead, but... Oh well, hindsight is 2020. Being, uh, how it is. So. So. Um, Bo is at decent health. Uh, he goes out now into Magnazone, and I'm actually just going to want to protect here to see what he's going to uh, lock himself into, because I'm thinking he's... Oh, I don't protect! Oh, what do you mean I don't protect? That was, I should have protected. Oh, well. I got into Fluffy because I think I can take anything from this guy. I have an Assault Vest, and I'm not I'm not specially defensive, but I am Assault Vest. So, here comes a T-Bolt, and holy crap, that would that's going to 2-8-K-O me. And I was not expecting that, but it doesn't matter because I'm faster. Um, I mean, if my... Yeah, I mean, I, I run maximum speed on this thing. It's not timid, but it's still max speed. I was going to outspeed, so here I go for the Earth Power, um, because it'll hit everyone on his team except for Mandibuzz, and I didn't think he was going to switch into Mandibuzz. So, Earth Power does a decent chunk, uh, does about uh, does a little less than half, and so I know that I can't take it out with another Earth Power, but I'm thinking if Earth Power did that much, then a Flash Cannon should probably take it out. So I go ahead and go over the Flash Cannon, mix it up, and I do manage to take out that Tyranitar. Um, Based on the fact that it took that hit, that Earth Power so well, I was thinking that it was running specially defensive. Uh, and actually, so unless it was running Jolly, I would have outsped, because um, if I recall correctly at least, Heatran has higher base speed. So here I go for the 100% accurate uh, Ancient Power, and I really wish I'd gone for the Fire Blast, because the Fire Blast would have taken him out. And he survived on just a sliver of HP, I'll let you know whether that was min damage. But I suspect it wasn't, it was just me being stupid. But I'm thinking that's fine, I'm, I outspeed, I'll go for the Fire Blast here and kill it, and I miss, and I'm like, ah, oh, that's lame. But you know what, I should be able to take, you know, Mand Mandibuzz, I'm not really fearing too much from this guy, I should be able to take a, quite a few hits, and so I just gotta hit it with some Fire Blast and it'll be fine. So, uh, my Fire Blast connects here, it does a little bit more, uh, more than 50%, he knocks me off here. Um, I'm down to 22 HP, but it's fine. One more Fire Blast, and this thing is dead and no longer my problem. And my Fire Blast misses. I'm like, <laughs> and he roosts, and he roosts. But it's fine, it's fine. At least I'll get him down to 50% health uh, on the next switch. Uh, or then I'll be able to finish off with my next switch. But it misses again, and he's going to knock me off again for the kill. And Fluffy gets taken out, and I want to cry like a baby because that hack was so bad. Uh, I go now out into Bo, and you know he's at full HP. He's at full HP. Um, uh, so I don't think that Hyper Voice will one-hit KO, but it should two-hit KO, so that should be okay. Out now is Magnazone, and now that I've lost my heat, well, uh, Heatran wasn't taking it taking hits from this guy anyway. Um, this Magnazone actually stands a decent shot at destroying my team. I've actually got to decide who to sack, um, because I know from experience that uh, Rotom Wash cannot take a hit, even though it's special defensive 252 HP, 252 special D. Um, and you know, Sylveon is, has less defense than that, and um, I, so I, I checked to see what he was locking himself into. I was really hoping that he'd lock himself into the, the uh, Flash Cannon, but he doesn't. Um, and so I've got to I've got to sack Rotom, uh, and it's sad. It's a sad truth, but unfortunately, Rotom was my least useful Pokemon left on this team, um, and so I'm gonna sack it here. And uh, that means I'm gonna get the free switch out into um, Stravinsky. But if you notice what's good for him, he's just gonna switch out. So I go on out and Stra I go now out into Stravinsky, um, down to only about a quarter health, and that's not good. I go for the fire bl uh, the, the flare blitz, excuse me, and I do manage to take him out. He doesn't switch out, um, but I figure, I guess he figured, you know, what the hell, I can afford to sack it, and he probably didn't. I, I don't think any of his two, uh, any of his Pokemon um, really wanted to take uh, two fire bl uh, flare blitzes slash um, what should we call it? 
um, Brave Birds. So yeah, so now Mana Buzz is out, and I do the Calyx, I'm like, this is going to do nothing. And so we, I actually go ahead and roost here, um, because I just want to, I, 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 just in case he roosts or something like that. Um, but there's really nothing I can do. He's going to foul play me, and that takes me down to 25. Uh, so that's it's doing more than half, and I'm not gonna be able to. It's not like I'm gonna be able to stall him out or anything. I just go over the flare blitz. I guess I'm fishing for the burn, but it's just I got nothing better to do. I do get him down to less than half, and that's good. Uh, he's, so he's hearing the rocky helmet, so that explains the lack of recovery. I, it doesn't really matter. I mean, Stravinsky was going down no matter what. Um, so he he really should have roosted there. Uh, I, if I were him, I would just. I guess I couldn't have kept on roosting. Never mind. Um, but so I can send out Bow here, and I'm going to be able to take out this Mandibuzz if he leaves it in. And he does leave it in, he goes for the knockoff, and that's a little bit lame, but it doesn't really matter um, at this point of the match. I go for the Hyper Voice, it should take out Mandibuzz at this range, and it does. And now he's down to his last Pokemon, which is Curum Black, and I'm thinking, I don't know whether I can survive a hit from this guy. I mean, obviously he can't use Outrage, which is the most powerful move. But I guess it depends on his set, what he's going to be able to attack me with. And I know that if I can survive one hit, then I take him out with a Hyper Voice. Um, but it really depends on what he's got. And he's got the Iron Head, and so I'm like, yeah, Bo's not taking that. I'm sorry. And Bo does die here, and that is the end of the battle. Hope, Folks, I hope you enjoyed this match. I hate Mandibuzz with a fiery passion. I wish they would all die. And that's all. So long.